Hi guys, Justin Tang here of EliteGolfSwing.com with another episode of the Anatomical Advantage. This swing has two major flaws, an improper takeaway and trunk imbalance. The shaft goes underneath the plane of the right forearm on the takeaway. This is caused by improper wrist and shoulder blade motions. This causes an arm plane that is two around the body as opposed to one that is more vertical. Let's take a look at the baseball swing of Ken Griffey Jr. See, in, in an athletic motion like swinging a baseball bat, you don't see Ken Griffey's arms too around his body as opposed to yours. Instead, you can see that his baseball bat is a little bit more vertical than yours and his hands are what we call more in front of his body. Now for individuals lacking flexibility, an arm swing that is too deep is going to cause early hip extension and posterior pelvic tilt which serves to disengage the spine engine which we can see here. Now a uh, couple quick cures for this issue, I would certainly recommend putting maybe a, a little range basket somewhere here so that when you take away, you are forced to bring the club up more vertically in this direction. Another thing I would recommend you to do would also be to observe closely the golf swing of uh, John Sandon. the same position his hands are more in front of his body club definitely working more vertically as opposed to yours going inside and when his left forearm is parallel notice how his hands are directly in front of his sternum versus yours which is way behind the sternum and at the top of the swing his hands just right above the right shoulder and yours is way behind that. So ball outside drill and maybe making a couple of practice swings mimicking John Sandon's position. Remember only when you exaggerate can you effect the change in your actual swing. Let's move on to the next issue, trunk balance. So on your takeaway, your trunk and your head are moving towards the ball versus moving away from the ball. There you go. And from down the line. Now this is caused by an improper weight shift to the left as well as left knee flexion much of that going on. Let's take a look at the swing of Adam Scott to better understand this issue. Draw the same lines. See Adam's trunk goes above those two lines, or yours goes below those two lines. We'll look at it from face on.
by moving the trunk closer to the body along with left side loading one is setting up for a jump and stall of the body which causes an early extension of the right arm which is a key reason why you're hitting shanks now this function is this dysfunction is likely caused by your underplane swing as your body tries to create more room to swing the club albeit with negative consequences now the cure for it is also relatively simple on the backstroke you have to literally feel like you're standing up on your backswing your head needs to be moving up and to the right in order to maintain proper trunk balance and weight shift now I believe if you fix these two dysfunctions first you should start seeing a marked difference in your swing Thank you for watching this analysis. Once again, this is Justin Tang from EliteGolfSwing.com where we give you the anatomical advantage.